Today, I am going to deploy Java application to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. I have a Java application project on localhost, and I uploaded the code into AWS Cloud, and then deploy the Java application using AWS Elastic Beanstalk. I just uploaded a YouTube video on how to deploy WordPress website using AWS Elastic Beanstalk. So pretty much I will be following exactly the same procedure I use in this video to deploy the Java application. So after we log in the AWS account, go to the Elastic Beanstalk, create application, platform, Java, sample application. So as I mentioned earlier, in this config the configuration setting, I'm not going to make any change to the database. If we edit the database session and add the username and add the password, the Elastic Beanstalk requirement will include a database automatically, but I'm not going to set up the database here because I want to have a separate RDS. So even though later on, if I decided to remove this Elastic Beanstalk environment, I can still have a separate RDS. Otherwise, the RDS instance will be deleted together with the environment. So that's the reason I will set up a separate RDS. And then in this case, I just leave it as default and create application. So when we are creating the environment, I will go to the RDS page to set up a separate database. Create a database, MySQL, so the same configuration as I use in setting up a WordPress website. So Java. So username, root, password. So leave it as a twenty. So the same. Uh, I will take the default setting. The probably SS will be yes. So default, default. Yeah. The database name, because my Java application, my Java project, the database name is going to use is name superhero. So I will use the same database name here. Disable all this functionality and create database. Let's take a look at the environment. Okay, now it's ready. We click on this. So that's the sample page created with the sample Java code. Okay, we are going to upload our own Java code. Let's modify the security group as well. We are going to modify the inbound rule. Add the rule SSH, we want to connect to the database. And also my SQL Ohora. As I mentioned earlier in the WordPress video, and we might want to make some restriction on this uh, IP address. But here I'm just chose everywhere. 
Okay, that's it. We modify the security group and then go back to the RDS and then we are going to copy the endpoint. Let's take a look at the endpoint first. Okay, so that's the endpoint. Just copy. Let's go back to our project code. So this is my Java project. For this application property file, First, we want to remove this local host. That's for the local database. And then here, the local host, we will replace with this local host with the RDS endpoint. And also the username, remember, oh yeah, it's the same root. And password is password. That's the username and password I define when I created the RDS instance. And also, we need to add this line server port 5000 into S. Yeah, that's it. Clean and build. Mm. Then we take a look at the POM file. And then in here, inside this build section, we can add this line, final name. Okay, let's see. This is my superhero project, Java project. Inside the project folder, there will be a target folder. And then there will be a jar file. This is the file we are going to upload into the AWS Cloud Elastic Beanstalk. So the name of this jar file is hero. Here, final name is the place you are going to divide the name of the jar file. Okay, let's say maybe I want to change the name to be superhero. Final name, superhero. So that means the jar file inside that target folder will be changed into superhero. Okay, we can take a look. Okay, see here, superhero. This is the file we want. Okay, let's go to the map bin. We are going to click on the folder of your project, right click and run Maran and go clean install. And profile, you XML from XML. Okay. So it's going to build a file. We go back to our AWS environment. And here, upload and deploy. Choose file. That will be go to your Java project code and inside the project folder, find the target folder and find this job file. Click on it. Open. Deploy. It will take some time to deploy the application. At the meantime, we are going to make the connection to the database. So the host name will be the RDS endpoint and username is the username to define when you created the database. Password. And next password. Test the connection. So successfully make this my SQL connection is okay. Oh, duplicate. Spring Boot 2. Okay. Because I have uh, Another connection is named Spring Boot. So that's the superhero is the database name we define in the RDS instant creation process. I have the code to create.
create a table. So that's my table. I have five table. So that's the test script. I have five table. And hero, location, organization, citing. So here, my Java project has five table. This SQL script is to create those table and also create some testing data. So I will run the script. That's the test script, the so testing. So we refresh two database. That's the database for the testing. So now I have some data inside those table. Let's go back to the AWS Beanstalk environment. Sample page is still running. OK, now it's OK. We click on the URL link. Let me. So this is my Java project. It's a regular Java project. Allow you to add a record. Read a record. Edit a record. Update a record. And remove a record. So let's take a look to see if it work. Music. Power. So you can edit. Update a power. And read the power. And remove a power. So that's it.